Hi. Today we'd like to welcome Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Kostas Rakoyanis, who is here with us on the 16th Horasis India Meet. Such a pleasure to have you here, Minister. The pleasure is mine. Thank you very much for spending a few moments with us. We have a few questions for you, particularly with relations to the Greek-Indian partnerships that we see forging in the past and, of course, very importantly, in the future. So the first question I would like to ask you is what are some of the initiatives that your ministry is currently undertaking in order to strengthen the ties between Greece and India? Well, aside of the strong connection between India and Greece, which is historic and cultural, lately we've seen the Indian Prime Minister paying a visit to Greece, the Greek Prime Minister, and I was honored to be there along with him paying a visit to India, had a chance to go to Delhi, to Mumbai, to Bangalore, uh, led the 70 businesses delegation wow. with me to India and had numerous G2G, B2B meetings in India between the two business communities from Greece and India itself. We've seen uh, a number of uh, opportunities that are jointly undertaken from the two business communities. So we have the businesses, the economic development, we have traditional ties mm. in tourism and the maritime industry, and we have new ties in technology, uh, ICT, artificial intelligence. We see ideas in the agricultural sector that are being tied up with the technological sector. Mm. We see the academia of new people and new scientists coming over from India to Greece and Greece to India. Hmm. Hopefully, we will soon have a direct flight. Uh, so all of this everyone's been asking creates, for that flight. Exactly. <laughs> so all of this creates an atmosphere and a certain momentum hmm. that makes the relationship flourish. Oh, absolutely. And tell us a little bit more. You know, we are seeing that a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs today, have been talking about Greece as really that gateway to Europe. Uh, and especially for India, that seems to be really a, a theme of today. Could you elaborate a bit well, for us? Well, it makes logistical and financial sense. India is the country of 1.4 billion. It is the biggest country in the world today. And the Indian factory, if I may mm. call it this way, produces millions of products for the European market. So mm. for a container ship that brings these products from India to Europe, it makes full sense mm. that it will cross the Suez Canal yes. and reach out to Greece prior to reaching out the rest of the European ports and eventually even the Northern European ports. So it costs less, mm. it, is, it takes less time, mm. it is easier to unload products of Indian heritage to the European markets in Greece. Uh, so from a logistic perspective, it makes sense. From a geopolitical perspective, it makes sense. And from an economic perspective, it makes sense, as there are strong ties between the two countries. And I completely support the idea of the two countries sharing the same value set yeah. that at the end of the day makes the corridor make more sense for both, for both parties. parties. No, absolutely. And, you know, I think you touched on it a little bit about the industries of the future that you would collaborate on, technology uh, being one, AI being uh, a, a, se a second really important platform. What is your view of how can these tangibly, you know, is it golden visas, is it exchange programs, what are some ways uh, that these future collaborations could work, especially in upcoming uh, industries? Well, the golden visa is there, the tourism is there, yes. the availability of working positions in Greece for Indian citizens is there. The human talent mm. does not necessarily require a Schengen visa yes. to travel from one country to another, as the two communities can work together from a distance. Mm. So that all makes uh, sense. Nevertheless, there is one more thing that I need to stress out sure. here. that. If you put yourself in the shoes of a minister, yes. of a government that supports the idea of doing something for the people of the future, yes. you ought to think of how the living conditions will be in 10 years from now and not today. Of so course. having said that, 
I think that aside of tourism and the maritime industry and simple trading, hmm. the ICT, yes. the artificial intelligence, the collaboration of the two technical communities of young people between Greece and India will make a difference to the evolution of their work and our lives for both parties. Fantastic. And one final question. Any words of advice to the future Greek or Indian young leaders that would be wanting to take part, that would be integral for continuing and strengthening the ties between these two countries? Any words of advice, uh, words of wisdom for them? Respect the past, think of the future, and work hard in a positive momentum for the benefit of both. Ah, that is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so Thank much, you Minister. So much. Such a Thank pleasure. You. Thank you.